Now, we separate the forms of tricuspid regurgitation in structural and functional forms. In structural forms, we have a primary problem of the tricuspid valve, so a structural abnormality of the tricuspid valve, while in functional tricuspid regurgitation, also called secondary tricuspid regurgitation, there is some change in the geometry of the right ventricle and in the annulus, which causes a coaptation defect and, in essence, tricuspid regurgitation. What is the prevalence of tricuspid regurgitation? Well, it's a very common finding, as I mentioned already, and even moderate to severe tricuspid regurgitation is not an uncommon finding. So if you look at this study that was looking at over 5,000 patients and looking at how many patients had tricuspid regurgitation, it was 80 to 90 percent had functional tricuspid regurgitation, while only 2 percent had structural regurgitation. So, as you can see in this diagram, we have not only a high degree of tricuspid regurgitation in the general population, but most patients who have tricuspid regurgitation have functional opposed to structural TR.